Here's part two of the POVs from filming Civic v. Civic. Uh, this one's the 2013. I hope you enjoy. It's just me and uh, Scott, who owns the 2013, talking about the car and driving it around a little bit. It's probably sufficiently boring, but I figured I'd just put these out here uh, just so they are out there and viewable. So I hope you enjoy. Keep leaving feedback. Check out my other stuff. Check out Civic vs. Civic. Um, hopefully this is informative and pleasant. See ya. Alright, so here I am in the 2013 Honda Civic LX with its owner. So we're just going to go for a little drive to get impressions. It is an automatic. I believe it's the 5-speed auto. Yes, it is 5-speed auto with the manual e-brake. So here we go. Right off the bat, the throttle is responsive. The interior is nice. Uh, brake pedal is pretty, pretty, pretty hefty, pretty spongy. I mean, it's a Civic. What do you really expect? I, I know these are just sort of buzzwords that people throw out there, but uh, I mean, it, it just it feels like a car. It feels like a car. The uh, visibility is it's all right. I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not blinded by any means, but it's not exactly a greenhouse either. It, it's it's very visible, but it's not incredibly spacious. Uh, the gauge cluster, I like these when the Civics did this. I think they still do it to a point. Um, this like two stacked sort of arrangement. It was it was pretty neat. Uh, we have the misfortune of filming in some pretty pretty poor conditions unfortunately but it, it should be all right we're just driving around a little bit so throttle is relatively responsive it, it's it's what you expect from uh, automatic civ civic um, nothing really much to say on the brake either it does feel significantly heavier than the 2006 one um, that may just because, be because it's newer, but it's got this econ button, no idea what that does. Um, the, the interior is pretty nice, I, I enjoy it. So I mean compared to the 2006 Civic, the inter interior is far superior. The, the 2006 one, one it might be a lower trim, I'm not entirely sure what trim specifically this car is. and how nice it is in comparison to the EX, but it, it feels quite nice in here. The seating position is good. I, I like seating positions in Civics generally. It's, it's always pretty pretty nice. Um, the seats are comfortable. I mean, they're not sporty or so much bolstering, but they're, they're, they're comfortable. Also, what is a tag for someone who may not know? So a tachometer is your, your gauge right down here. Um, that, it counts your revs, so it's, it's r slash min, that's revolutions per minute. So that's how quickly the pistons are spinning the camshaft in the engine, or the drive shaft, I should say. Um, so like if you, if you accelerate more, the RPMs increase because there's more frequent explosions in the engine and the combustion chamber going on, which means you're making more power. And with an NA car like this, this is, this is uh, the non-SI. So this has the R18 1.8 liter inline 4, same as the other Civic, although, and I'll show the, the engine shots if I haven't already, but the this one looks a little bit different. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure, just, just probably some slight updating, but I'm not sure what all those differences actually entail. So, this is this, the generation before this, the one that the 2006 is, had the, I believe the highest red line of any SI. It was at like 8,000 flat, I believe. I, I'm, that may be way too high. Maybe it was, I think it was 8,000 flat. I don't know, it was, it was some very high number. I'll, I'll figure it out. But um, yeah, so handling, steering wise, not that these 
roads are much of a, a, a challenge for it, but it's it's the steering wheel is interesting. I, I, I like the design from an aesthetic perspective more than the 2006s, but I don't I don't know if I like how it feels more. It, it's sort of it's a little bit weird on your fingers. Um, but the shape is good. The size is still pretty small, similar to the 2006, which is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's well positioned, which is good. But uh, it's not horrible. So I'm doing a little bit of a pull here, foot to the floor. It revs out. Yeah, it revs out. It, it likes to rev, which is good. It, it feels a little bit less peppy than 2006, but that's probably just because it is automatic. Um, you do have these these little bars up there that show how well your economy is doing, uh, your fuel economy. Um, so yeah, I do like the the bar design. I know that's a, oh my god, that is a lot of birds. So this is this is the four door. So how much does it weigh? Um, how much is it? it was three thousand. So yeah, the 600 something. So, so it's it's heavier by a significant margin than the older Civic. And that, you know, if you're getting this car and you're thinking, oh, it'll it'll still be sporty. It's still a Civic. Like I can I can still. Three thousand six hundred ninety-three. Okay. Three thousand. Oh wow. Three thousand six hundred. So that's that's almost three thousand seven hundred, which is it's it's a quite quite a bit. So the, the old Civic was quite a bit lighter, and we'll figure that out, oh yeah, my Mazda 6, right, that's what that was, I think so, um, yeah, so it's, it's not quite as sporty, it's definitely not as throwable, you do still get the manual e-brake, which is nice, I mean, it's not like you're going to be doing much with it, uh, fuel economy is really good in these cars, I think this one is like 40, 40, 35 for city, highway and city, uh, which is really good. Um, and it's even slightly better than the old Civic, which had like 38, 34, or something along those lines. I said it cruises. Um, huh? I said it cruises. It does, yeah. It definitely does. Uh, I mean, it, it does what a normal sedan should. So, those, those are my off the top thoughts on it. As far as the driving feel, it's very, normal. I, I wouldn't quite call it bland, because it's, it's not, well, I guess I would call it bland. It's not boring, per se. It's definitely bland, though. Um, but I mean, part of that is just, you know, it's a little bit heavier, and it doesn't have the manual, you know. And it's also quite underpowered. But I mean, you can do a lot with the about 140 horsepower at 6,000 RPM of this thing makes um it, it's it's not it's not horrible but it's it's a little suboptimal so oh boy oh yeah a little bit of hydroplane very cool um so i figure this is a good time ask the owner here scotty his his opinions on the car i know you're a relatively new driver but you know what are your some of your experiences with it already off the bat or what are your thoughts on I, it i, I think it's Yeah. It works. It's reliable. Yep. I mean that that is the that is the Civic in a nutshell. It it works, it does what it needs to do, and it, it's reliable. I mean that's it it I almost think of the the Civic and the Corolla. They they are incredibly close, but with the with the Civic you trade a little bit of reliability for a little bit of sportiness. And the Corolla, you trade a little bit of sportiness for a little bit of reliability. Not that that's always true, but that's just how I tend to think about it in my head. Um, this water, it's, it's rough. It is very wet. Um, we were trying to film a couple other days, but some, some plans got in the way. So we, this is what ended up happening. And it, it's, it won't make do. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a Civic. It does what it needs to do. No more, no less, really. Especially when it comes to this one. Uh, this, this, the, the four-door sedan from 2013. Yeah, 
it's pretty lazy to rev. Well, that's also because it kept me in a higher gear, but I mean, that's just something of an automatic, you know? Ah, uh, ah, uh, suspension. It's fine. It's actually softer than the, uh, the suspension is much more, oh, oh geez, hey. Suspension is much more cushy than the uh, 2006 one, which is nice uh, for situations like this. Geese. Gooses. Alright. That's the 2013 Honda Civic LX? Question mark. Something along those lines. 